Hi, what's going on? My name is Anant and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an automated email journey, which is also known as drip email marketing. With drip email marketing, you can send series of email, which can be triggered based on users action. So let me just take you to the automation and I will show you that. So this is the automation where you can create a new automation from scratch. So I'm going to click on add new and here we are getting multiple triggers through which we can initiate our automation journey. For example, whenever a subscriber is enrolled to my list, this automation will be triggered. So I can just simply choose that or I have bunch of other option. I can trigger this on the birthday of subscriber or I can trigger it with API as well. So if you are a pro email marketer and you want to send someone to your email list through API, you can do that as well. But for now, I'm just going to take something very simple, which is welcome new subscriber. So I'm not going to create this automation journey from scratch. Since I've already created an automation journey, I'm going to take that as an example to show you how can you create a new automation marketing journey. So whenever a subscriber is enrolled in your list, we are going to wait for one hour. And then after that, we are going to send a first welcome email to the subscriber. And then based on whether the person have opened your email, whether the person have read your previous email or not, we can perform any certain action. So if he have read the email, I can perform certain action here. And if he haven't, then we can perform certain other actions over here. Not just the read email, we can change it to clicks a link. If there is any link included in the email, you can also, uh, you know, select that specific link. But since we haven't added any link, I'm not going to choose that. I'm just going to choose uh, when subscriber reads my email and the email is going to be welcome to my email list. That's it. Right now going back to automation. Let me just show you what all other options you are getting. So when I click here, I can either send an email wait for some hours or days i can evaluate the conditions whether someone has opened or clicked my link or not and i can also perform operations so i can assign a tag to the subscriber for example if a subscriber has engaged with one of the email that i was looking for then i want to give a tag of engage so that tag i can give it to the subscriber or if i want to copy the contact from one list to another list, I can do that as well. So subscriber who have clicked on this link, I want to enroll them to list B. I can do that as well from here. Or if the subscriber has opened or clicked on my link and I want to change anything in the attribute of a subscriber, I can do that as well. I can change the first name, last name or anything I want. So these are the operations that I can perform. But as of now, let me just quickly close this. And this is how you can create a complex email marketing journey for yourself, which is going to be triggered when a new subscriber is added to your mailing list. And you can choose that mailing list for sure. Now, this is where you can look at the insights. So you can see the statistics of everything from here. Once you click on statistics, you can get a statistics of everything from here. Now, if you want to pause the campaign, you can click here and pause the automation from here. And this is the setting for you. So you want to make changes in the time zone. You want to add a segment, whatever changes you want to make here, you can do it from here. And if you want to undo anything that you have just added, you can do it from the left hand side. So that is it about email marketing automation. If you have any question about marketing journeys, drop it down in the comment below. I'll be happy to answer all the question and I'll come up with more videos on the use case of marketing automation journey. But till then, I'll see you next time.